What is up everybody, my name is Basil over Apex and welcome back to Amnesia, a machine for pigs. Where we left off last episode was absolutely horrendously terrifying. Don't do this now. Don't do this now! Over there, place it in the corner. What? You think I speak Prussian? Do I look like an inbred hog, sir? Who gives a damn what it contains? Just set it down carefully and leave me be! Anyway, yeah, last episode was absolutely awfully scary in the dark with the creatures running around and just many things happened that I, that daughter should, that I didn't want to happen, basically. And uh, right now we're trying to build a serum, oh this door's open though. I think right now we're trying to build some, can, some potion thing. Stop flickering. Oh, piggy, piggy, piggy. Oh, piggy, piggy, piggy's over there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fucking pigs. Oh shit, this is going to be kind of hard, because it's going exactly where I need to go. Oh, hell no. I see you, boy. I see you. I might have to just run for it. Sit here. And then once it's gone past, I'll go. Please be okay, please be okay, please be okay. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Run! Run, motherfucker, run! <laughs> oh shit, I didn't expect it to actually come after us. And like, spot us even. Holy hell. You will have to find another way to the tunnel. Take care in this place, Mandus. It is the crucible of the evil that stalks these corridors. Yeah, I know. I've just been chased by one. And it hit us as well. How rude. Fucking hell. I didn't think it was going to say us. I couldn't really say it, to be fair. I thought I was looking at the wall. Um, a big thing that I do like about this game is there isn't an insanity. Like y your screen doesn't shake and wobble and distort uncontrollably once you've done certain things for so long. Because that was really annoying in the last one. Because it could get really out of hand, and sometimes you just couldn't fix it. Piggy, 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 piggy. Hey, piggy, piggy, piggy. Hey, piggy. Piggy. Piggy, piggy. Yeah, piggy. Oh my god, this is absolutely awful. Stop flickering! God damn, it's only a pig. Can I leave, please? There we go. No, no, don't be doing that. Oh, teddy bear. And my boy's teddy bear. You can sit up there. Or oh, there, that'll do. That's cool, I suppose. Oh! Fucking hell. Damn pipes! More experiments with compound X. Took the dog and injected it with strychnine. After the expected convulsions and spasming, it died just after midnight. 
I immersed the body in a large tank of compound X and introduced an alternating current via induction coil for a period of three and a half minutes. Partial return was induced, however, damage incurred prior to death was retained upon revival, meaning the dog continued in the acute state of strychnine poisoning until I put a bullet in its skull. But drowning? Perhaps yes. It is after all known to be the kindest of su suicides. If one were to drown, replacing the fluid in the lungs with compound X should theoretically be perfectly possible as a revival method. Oh, this guy is so fucked up, it's weird. That's where I was just here. Except these were spring shit everywhere. Oh my god, I don't like this. I really, really don't like this. And I'm back here? But I didn't... I didn't send anything. There wasn't anything... Fuck's sake. Can I get back up there, please? I'm gonna have to go back around on her. God damn. I must have missed something. Oh, the bark. The, the bark. <laughs> He's in there. Okay, now that one respawned. I must have missed something back here then. I've obviously missed something down here. I think, am I trying to repower this? Pig line, uh, whatever, I'm not reading that, that's too many word words. There's this machine. Do I do anything with this machine? No. No. I don't like noises this game. I don't. Oh! Wow, it's literally. It's literally there. That was it. Were they different things? I don't know. Send them on. Send them on one just for good measures. Or not. Now I must be done in this section then. Because now it gives, obviously it gives me the way out here, so. I don't know how many, there's three things, like three slots on the machine, the spinner machine, but I might only need two. I'm not sure. Right. I've been in there, and I've been in there. Do I just... Yeah, shut them doors, yeah. And I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna sit here. I'm just going to sit under here, just because this made a lot of noise. I don't know, is that it? Where do I put this? I don't know, I got a memento though. I have the compound, it hisses and steams in its container like some living thing, a witch's jelly to burn and corrode. The container is made from glass, a strange choice unless there is some particular reason why the metal that pervades everywhere else cannot be brought into, a, into contact with this so called compound X. I should investigate further for clues. 
I want to know where I take the bastard. Right, where do I have to put this compound X? A telephone. Better get a phone call. No? How strange. Ah! That's literally, I did all that just to break a lock. Have I got to throw something at it? I, don't... I need something to throw. I can move these, but I can't pick up anything over here. Absolutely excellent game design. I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, it doesn't move when I grab it. Um, she said. Oh, that's nice. Oh, oh god, oh god, switch it off. That's, oh, bleh. ah, the light. Aha. I'm not gonna lie. I did that by accident because I think. Wait, I didn't do by accident. I did move the light on pips. But I think it might have said somewhere that light affects them. Affects compound X even. Not them. I don't know what them is. Down here, Daddy. I would assume... Shut up. I would assume it affects the pigs and whatnot because... They are made of compound... Oh, shit. There's a lot of idiot. <laughs> There isn't a lot of here though, so I guess I just drop. Yeah. This episode's been slightly more peaceful. I mean, the start of it wasn't. I don't know, but it is. It's fine. So naturally sewers, cool. Um every game goes to the sewers because well it wouldn't be a horror game without sewers. We'll read slow. Naturally, once bled, the product must be scalded, dehaired, and scraped ready for ga gambling and evisceration. For this we pass them to the steam reservoir, which is kept at a constant temperature by, by passing excess high pressure venting from the engines via the boiler and a series of large copper pipes into a stone chamber just below the workhouse. At the centre of the machine, there is a component that must be kept at consistently low temperature, which controls the operations of the processing of products throughout the system. Alongside this, refrigeration is of the utmost importance in retaining product quality, and this, is, and this also requires heat to be removed from certain areas of the machine. Two problems are therefore combined into a single solution, the removal of heat from some areas and the requirements for increased heat in others. Conducting panels draw heat using the principles of convection regulated by the boiler and sending freezing air along one set of pipes in one direction and superheated vapors in another. Wow, so in depth, changed my life forever. Anyway, guys, I am actually all out of time for this part, so. Ignorant. There will always be a torrent of excreta flooding through these tunnels. We can use this to supplement the steam production and ensure constancy. God, this. 
This fecal matter is the true product of the age. Yeah guys, I'm all out of time for this episode, so if you want to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next part. See you later guys, bye!